Hi everyone, April Armstrong with the Day One Executive coming to you today from beautiful Palm Beach, Florida. Hopefully the wind isn't too crazy. Where I had the great adventure of spending three days in the presence of an electrifying executive, a man recently named by American Express as one of the top six business strategists in the world. This man is also considered to be the father of the modern life coaching industry. He has helped millions of people transform and improve the quality and outcomes of their lives. His name is Tony Robbins. Now Tony would not be in Palm Beach, Florida and neither would I for that matter were it not for the vision, enterprising spirit, and generous legacy of a forerunner executive by the name of Henry Flagler. Now Henry Flagler is, just in case that name does not roll off your tongue exactly, is the father of modern day Florida. Henry created the rail, the East Coast, um, Florida East Coast Railway that connected Florida to the rest of the United States. He is the father of the city of Miami, the multicultural global metropolis that it is. And he, if you're a college student, you may consider this to be his greatest legacy. He created the connection, the oversea, what is now an overseas highway, but originally was the overseas railway connection between South Florida and Key West. There are three important lessons that I learned from Henry this week that I also see embodied by Tony Robbins that I'd like to share with you right now that can materially improve and enrich your career as a future executive. Number one is to be willing to start anywhere. Henry started his career sweeping floors, being paid $5 a day, and it was in that role that his employer recognized his business acumen and within five months he was promoted making $60 a day and playing a much more consultative role in the company. And that's really where he gained a lot of the foundational experience that would serve him later in his career. Number two, don't see anything, no matter how negative in your career, as necessarily a dead end. It's not a dead end unless you choose to make it so. In fact, even in something like a job loss or not getting that job that you were dreaming of, there may even be a gift wrapped in garbage inside of there, as, it, as was the case for Henry. Now, Henry turns out was an entrepreneur and he started a salt mining company in the mid 1950s with a partner that was very successful until the Civil War ended. And with that, demand for salt precipitously dropped off and ultimately the company went under. Now, Henry, it turns out, had borrowed $50,000 from other people and invested $50,000 of his own dollars to found that venture that he needed to pay back and so he was forced to get a job. He got a job as a salesperson in a grain company and in that role he met another salesperson, none other than John D. Rockefeller. John D. Rockefeller ended up inviting Henry to join him in a new venture he was starting in the crude oil industry in a company that ultimately became Standard Oil and became the largest company in the world at that time. The incredible serendipity of that just literally makes my hair stand on end because if Henry had what he had certainly earlier in his career surely hoped he would have had, which is a successful venture with his salt mining company, then his path never would have crossed with John D. Rockefeller. Um, unbelievable because of the way it changed Henry's life and through Henry, all of our lives today. Which brings me to my third lesson from Henry and also Tony Robbins. And that is one of the distinguishing hallmarks of the world's best executives is that they are not reactive to the world around them, the marketplace, internal or external opportunities and constraints. They are anticipatory. They anticipate the marketplace. John D. Rockefeller did that when he anticipated the shift from coal into crude oil and made his move into Standard Oil. Henry Flagler did that most illustriously in creating what we all now enjoy as the state of Florida at a time when most people looked around and saw bug and mosquito infested and crocodile and snake infested swamps. Henry saw what we all enjoy today, 
which is an incredibly beautiful tourist, global tourist destination with just gorgeous sands, luxurious hotel properties. And he made it his life's mission to create the transportation infrastructure needed and the hospitality infrastructure needed to make that vision a reality. My hope is that Henry's life and Tony's life will be an insp not only an inspiration to you, but that these lessons will be directly enriching to you in your life. I invite you to follow the Day One Executive on Facebook at Day One Executive and on Twitter at Day One Exec and to look for my new book coming out very soon to bookshelves, Kindles, and smartphones everywhere, The Day One Executive. Until next time, to your success. Bye.